In January 2020, Agnes Guni, a 25-year-old Zimbabwean woman, left her home country to pursue a better life in South Africa. She had recently graduated from the Midland State University with a degree in animal science and hoped to find a job that would allow her to further her education and support her family. She settled in Mamelodi, a township in Pretoria, where she found work as a domestic worker. She was cheerful, ambitious and hardworking. And she always promised her parents that she would fly them around the world someday. But her dreams were cut short on the 4th of May 2020, when she became a victim of a brutal and senseless murder. On that fateful day, she was allegedly taken to a house in Sunnyside, a suburb in Pretoria. There, two men tortured and killed her in a horrific manner. They even used an electric to chop her body into pieces and then raped the remains in a curtain. They then dumped the body parts in a rubbish bin, which they left on the pavement. The motive of the gruesome crime remains unclear, but the police suspect that it was related to a robbery gone wrong. The killers were also Zimbabwean nationals who lived in the same neighborhood as Agnes. They were identified as Tavari Tandavari, a 25-year-old from Gokwe, and Trade Most Tole, also 25. She did not report for work for days until her relatives began looking for her at police stations. That's when they found an unclaimed body at one of the mortuaries. The police managed to track and arrest the suspects. Thanks to the clues left behind on the crime scene, they found traces of blood, tree leaves, and curtains that were used to rape the body. They also found the electric grinder, which had Agnes' DNA on it. The suspects appeared in court in Mamelodi and were facing charges of murder, kidnapping, and robbery. They pled not guilty and claimed that they did not know Agnes and that they were framed by someone else. Trial attracted a lot of media attention, both in South Africa and in Zimbabwe. The public was outraged by the barbaric nature of the murder and demanded justice for Agnes. Her family, friends, and former classmates also expressed their grief and anger and called for maximum sentences for the killers. Agnes' body was repatriated to Zimbabwe on the 21st of May 2020, where she was buried at her rural home in Guni village in Chief Makore area. Her father, Manze Guni, said that he was devastated by the loss of his daughter, who was his treasure. He said that he wanted to know why the killers used a girl to kill his child and that she did not deserve to die like that. He also said that he hoped that the South African authorities would ensure that justice was served and that her killers would pay for their evil deeds. He also said that he would never forgive them and that he wished that they would suffer the same fate as his daughter. Her life was cut short by a senseless act of violence that robbed her of her future and her family of their joy. Her story is a tragic reminder of the dangers and challenges that many Zimbabweans face in their quest for a better life in South Africa and across the world.